Hi there, welcome back and also welcome if you're in the live chat right now, I appreciate it. So today we're going to start off with a Dylan Rounds-like discussion of what's recently gone on. I'm going to share with you my opinions on certain individuals such as Ty and Lance and Candice Cooley too, okay? And then after that we're going to transition on to a map analysis of Elko, which is a city in Nevada, not too far away from Montello. And I think... It has been associated and talked about within the Dylan Rounds case, whether that be Elko Police Department or even certain individuals visiting Elko in the past. Now, I'm going to be looking at the motels, some of the fast food places where certain key individuals and suspects at a point in time may have gone to recently in the past at the time Dylan went missing. Who knows? So you can... This, that part of the video is more for you to interpret however you want, whether you want to apply it to Dylan Rounds or not. I'm just primarily, primarily looking at Elko in general. Does that make sense? I, I'm talking like this because I know some humans don't seem to understand me. But yeah, that aside, what should we start with first? Well, before I forget, let's talk about certain individuals within the Dylan Rounds case. Not the suspects, not the families, just people on YouTube. What we'll probably see is the transition and change in human behaviour and behavioural patterns, right? So whether it be a level-headed person, a goody-goody nice individual, or just an average individual, not all, but some will crack over time, whether it be turning on someone, backstabbing another, lack of trust, suddenly getting all bitchy, moany, something turns to drama, anything can happen, obviously. I always apply it back to the Kenny Veach case because everything that happened in the Kenny Veach case is happening in the Dylan Rounds case, okay? Arguably, you've got some families at war, you've got fake people, you've got backstabbers, you've got drama, you've got people coming up with false stories, a lot. I've seen it all, okay? So it's all planning out how I expected. And what we're starting to see now is the transition of the odd few individuals suddenly revealing their true colours within, mainly viewers, but also YouTube channels as well. That can apply to at a point in time. Is it the end of the world? No, but cleansing is necessary and it might as well you know get over and done with now i've always said you come across someone who's a bastard in the first place that's good you come across someone who's good and then down the line they turn into a bastard that's more annoying because it's more time consuming more draining arguably and you know it's just dragged out you want it over and done with right i've come across people in the past who've been dickheads and then in the end they've ended up supporting my channel which is a bit odd there might not be any more, but there were at a certain point. So you get these strange turns of events and they can both happen with, you know, OK um, in terms of behaviour, OK people, but then it can reverse the other way around. So, yes, that's probably what is going to happen. As for these fake accounts, behaviour, trying to be more tuned in, to be more realistic, which has convinced certain humans, which is most disappointing. Though, what I've got to remind myself is, from past experience, is it a surprise? No, because it all comes down to this and reasoning ability. And as we know, a fair few humans in this world are egocentric. Demonstrating egocentrism, failed the operational concrete stages of development as a child. Maybe that's due to primary or secondary forms of socialization, but there you go, fuck that, oh well. Bye bye. Do you want to call psychologist? Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna call. You want to call ref? Yeah, you want to call. Yeah, okay. I'll book you in for another appointment later. Shh. Anyway, so with that aside, I can do an important video, and it will be an important video addressing 
what will be happening next or what won't be happening next. Let's say it like that. And that can be uploaded tomorrow or so. Put that aside, let's talk about tying Lance right now. So from the way things have progressed, Ty had no clue what Lance was doing in terms of that um, like that donation thing, raising $10,000 for the, you know, the sniffer dogs, training them and making use of them in the future with uh, Lance controlling them, you know, to try and look for Dylan. That's like, I guess the whole aim of it. I guess with the Candy's Cooley situation recently about the bones and the bags and the criticisms there and supposedly the lies by Candice, you could say it's maybe acted as a catalyst, a spark for fueling Lance and Kimber to continue and to do more, more than ever. Because, you know, if other people say they're doing it for bad reasons or good reasons, you know, they are doing something, right? So um, they are going out there, they are exploring, they are spending time and effort to do things, whether it's a success or not, you can't take that away. But as for Ty and Lance, that's because they've not been communicating for over a week or so. Um, and that's what uh, Ty Corbin said in Jim Terry's live stream, right? And, you know, um, it seems to be that they're not working with each other at the moment, at least, because they've had disagreements. Now, it's not supposedly financial uh, falling out, something else. Who knows what that is? It probably will get patched up down the line. But that's the reason to why Ty and Lance aren't both actively searching together no more because of disagreements behind the scenes, which have not been fully explained. So that's why Lance and Kimber are now going back out and doing their own thing. So hopefully that clears that up to you. As for Ty, uh, supposedly... Um, his door got kicked in even though it wasn't locked and it was like a, a secondary home, if you want to call it that, I believe. And um, when Ty got there, the gun was still present because it was on the back of the door, which fell down. So they wouldn't have seen it, whoever it was. Bits of glass, a few objects smashed and it's like, hmm, who would do that? Not much was taken. So it seems more like a threat or a warning, right? Whoever it is saying, hey, you need to back off. Now, who in Montello would do that? Because this is the thing what we've got to understand from what Ty Corbin has said and from what other people have said. People in Montello are good people, y'all. They don't mean no harm, y'all. You got your fucking door kicked in. I think there's a bit of a problem there, don't you think? So I guess we'll see what happens next. There was no camera set up and there was no photos taken by Ty. That seemed to trigger Jim Terry slightly, but I guess that's just down to the whole evidence and trying to prove points, which is understandable. As for the camera situation, uh, Jim Terry said he was the one that advised Candice Cooley to put the trail cams up to try and see if they could find anything or not. And I believe Candice Cooley did in the end, but it was too late. So they didn't capture, um, you know, whoever it was returning back to Dylan's camper. If it wasn't down to the timing, it was just down to the positioning of the cameras and where they were placed. Because, as you know, Candice has been very fixed on the idea of the grain shed. That's where it all happened. And, you know, if she's got a strong opinion like that, and it can be explained because of evidence which she knows of, which can't be talked about publicly, then that would make sense. But, you know, if it's not down to that and it's just her opinion, it's like, well isn't it worth taking into mind other key locations? So th those cameras that were set up, right, at the grain shed, should have also been set up at Dylan's place of living, just for the simple fact if you had that weird feeling that Dylan was gonna return back home, return back to his farm. That's his farm over that way. The grain shed Dylan doesn't own. So although something might have happened at the grain shed, don't you think the other important places where Dylan actually lives from time to time Obviously, no camera set up, so I didn't detect it. As for Ty, linking back to him and that property being kicked in and trashed, he said he was going to put cameras up or something, or try to. And he said he was also going to live there or stay there for a couple of days. I don't know if that's regular or not, just to see if you can catch anyone out in the act. Now, to you, who do you think it could be? Do you think it's someone Ty actually knows? Do you think it's a friend of Ty? Do you think it's just a stranger, a person local from Montello, or is it something completely different? Because nothing was stolen, 
mm, it makes you think, right? It seems more of a warning, more of a threat. And Italian lands have received threats in the past when searching out there for Dylan, so maybe this is to back people off. Could it be Kurt Wadsworth? Could it be the Wadsworth brothers? It don't matter how defensive or, or protective people get over the Wadsworths, isn't it worth just questioning, just in case, right? You never know. Um, if it is to do with the whole Dylan Rand situation and people are actually physically threatening others, it just makes it more suspicious, right? It's as if whoever's doing it could be covering or is the main individual responsible for Dylan being taken out. Uh, I know people have previously said, like the puppeteer, the puppet master, someone pulling the strings, controlling everyone else below, and all the ones below get in trouble, get arrested, and then the main suspect, the main culprit, is walking free. That's always a possibility. We've talked about the hierarchy within Montello, that there might be a higher up, which everyone else below uh, just looks up to, keeps quiet and respects. You know, all kinds of different situations. Sure, there probably is still good people in Montello, but you need to try and think out of 100% how many are actually good people um, who could turn nasty, who could get very defensive, who could suddenly snap, switch, change, any uh, personality disorders and all that. You never know, you can't be too sure. So yeah, that's it for Ty really up to now. And obviously with the reduced communication between Ty and Lance, that's why you've probably not got as many videos recently with them two together, unless it's older footage from what's just being uploaded now and then catch up, right? Anything else? Yes, yeah, Scott Natal obviously has still been searching out there. I know a few people refer back to Scott Natal and say, oh, you should look up to him. You should check him out. You should... All in control. 2021, Kenny Veach. I cooperated with Scott Natal. I was the one that mapped out Scott Natal's hike routes. I was the one that blindly guessed some of them and was spot on. Even when other hikers such as Jay Silverheels, not much of an issue, but at the time criticised me for getting it completely wrong. And Scott Natal came in and said, nope, you're accurate. You got this. So there you go. Scott Natal previously was in Las Vegas. I think that's where he was currently working at at the time. So that's why he was getting involved with hiking and looking for Kenny Veach, mainly by himself, okay? Had discussions uh, in the chats, in the comments, uh, cooperating in some way with Jeff Clark, a little bit with Je uh, Jay Silverheels. So Scott Natal, originates from Kenny Veach and that's where he mainly started his channel and all his videos so uh, make sure to remember that. As for co cooperation since I've not really needed to analyze or debunk or assess or map out his current hype videos mainly because it's not got the same like methods, the same kick behind it. Maybe at a certain point it will, but with Kenny Veach, it was like anything goes, look for anything possible that stands out. With Within the Dylan Rounds case, it's a little bit different, right? It's on a different level. So that's why I've got to look at things specifically, right? It might coincide, cross over with Scott Natal at a certain point, like bones being found or you see like a K or you see a weird rock formation. So you've got to take that all into mind. Um, so we'll see what happens with Scott Natal. Interesting though how um, you know certain individuals have followed over from Kenny Veach, not just the viewers and even the people on my channel, but also active searchers moving over. So that's interesting how it all links together. That's what makes it interesting. And I guess the reason why Scott Natal is currently looking for Dylan Rouse is because he's in Utah, right? That's where he's working, working in Utah. I think it's to do with welding or metal work or something. Can't fully remember because I remember him being in a garage or some kind of big barn, big shed style thing. And he was using a blowtorch at some point. Remember that back in there uh, with uh, Las Vegas, I believe. And then after that, he went to Utah. And when he was in Utah, looking for Susan Powell. Uh, that was even back then with the Kenny Beach case as he alternated between the different um, states. And then obviously still sticking with Utah now because that's where things are at um, and looking for Dylan Rounds because that's like the latest active thing gone going. So it all makes sense there. 
um, the way Scott Natal does his videos, you know, he's hands on. That's the key thing with him. I have done an actual analysis, a full on analysis breakdown of Scott Natal. It might not be as relevant now because this is Dylan Rounds, but if you want to look at an analysis of Scott Natal, there'll be a link down below in the comment section pinned, right? Because I did that. I've got that covered. I could do it again for the Dylan Rounds case. I mean, I've done it with the Shack Lady. I've done it with Jim Terry. I've done it with Salty Pancakes. That was an all-in-one video, so I don't think I need to go back there again. Um, and yeah, is there anything else regarding that? Well, I think Scott Natal did a video recently to do with Bald Eagle Mountain. He actually made it there, but he was on a certain side and he couldn't cross over and reach, I think, Les Nuttall, his brother, if I'm correct in saying, and Alan. Alan is a guy called Mountain Fortress Labs, who's created his own, like, castle in the mountains. Uh, Heavy D uh, came across Alan at some point and have been working together since on certain projects, exploring, um, looking for Susan Powell that time, and even recently as well, whether it be Ken, uh, whether it be um, Dylan Rounds working with Earthwind Entertainment and uh, Ty Corbin. So there's a lot of crossovers, which is kind of interesting that. And they're all cooperating with each other, the actual boots on ground individuals like them, whether they're successful or not. There doesn't seem to be really any drama with them for most part of it. I mean, some people could say Lance Ty and all that, but when they're actually out there looking and if they're working with Heavy, D, Heavy D's crew or Scott Natal, it's interesting. Now, I don't think Scott Natal has managed to work with Earthwim Entertainment. That's not been successful yet because of timing issues, the weather and stuff, and this is what ties on. The reason why Scott Natal couldn't get to the other side to meet with Les Natal and Alan in Bald Eagle Mountain is because it was snowing. I don't know if it's still snow now. I know some viewers in my um, last live video or so, people were saying, oh, it's snowing here. So this is what I mean. If the snow is coming in, is it snowing in Lucin right now or is it only Montello? Is it mainly you know, the, the mountainous area, because we've seen it, right, with the Kenny Veach case. But to be honest, also um, Dylan Rounds, when you look at, what's it called, Pilot Peak or Pilot Mountain, you see the snow forming on top. When you look at the low ground, there's no snow whatsoever. So it might just be coming in now because we're talking about the winter coming. It's not fully there yet. And that's what Candice was talking about, if you remember recently in one of the interviews, the last one, where Candice said, we're going to go for a big push. We've got some new searchers or some new private search and rescue coming in, all these resources, and we'll make a big push before winter to try and locate Dylan. Because once winter comes, for that time period, it's game over. I mean, you can carry on searching after it, but... You know, there's going to be a certain time frame where you're frozen out, literally, because with all the snow, it's going to make it even harder to search. It'll make it more dangerous as well. You know, even when Scott Natal was in Bald Eagle Mountain, he was using his Ram 4x4 with all-wheel drive, and he couldn't make it up a slight slope. He kept slipping down. So you've seen the extremes there. So if you're just walking around, you could slip, you could fall, you could bump your head because it's all snow. You might go down a hole, a drop, whatever, and do your ankle in. So there's all kinds of possibilities that could go on. So you've got to be careful, right? And, you know, when loosing does get covered in snow, it's going to ruin the crops, right? It's going to ruin the farm work, I assume. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, well, it depends because... Dylan's been on that farm doing his thing, what, for two, three, pushing it four years, probably three years or less. What would have happened during the winter time? Like, do you just leave it as it is and then revitalise it after winter? I don't know. It's not much of an important thing because at the end of the day, the way the farm is now, it's like ghost town. The question I have, because it's not been sold, Candice hasn't put it on 
for sale, the land, the farm, etc. Who is working on it now? Is no one? Is it just literally dead? No more work, nothing. Everything that grows all goes to waste and dies. Is that it? Game over. That would be uh, kind of unfortunate. Don't know who would take over it after that. Whether it be another family member or it is sold on once they find Dylan, if it's like a negative outcome, you know, that type of stuff. Is there any other factors where the winter coming, can that affect Dylan's remains in any way? Does it preserve it? Does it damage it? Does it harm the DNA? I'm not too sure. I don't think so. Yeah, you would have seen people out in the wilderness in the snow in the extreme colds and they've died and they've been recovered and they've been able to be assessed still and DNA checked. So I don't think that's too much of a problem. It's more to do with visual, visual obscuring of trying to find the individual. And I guess with the drone that will be affected too, right? There's many different factors around it. So we've covered Thai, uh, we've covered uh, human behavioural changes, we've covered Scott Natal. As for Earthworm Entertainment, we've really touched upon. Um, once again, some humans fail to understand what the reality is when it comes to Earthworm Entertainment. People think I am bashing them, which is a bit odd. You know, there's a difference between bashing and questioning someone, right? The reason why people get into a pissy, hissy fit and get their pants in a tangle and all the kinds of things twisted too, make sure to release that tension or it might cause swelling. That sounds like a, a weird line to use, but you know what? There's some weird people out there. So what people need to remember is when there is balance, there is balance. And that's exactly what you're going to get. Yeah, you're going to get balance. You like it balanced, right? And the reason why there needs to be balance, you've seen it with other channels. You've seen it with other people. There is instability. There is a lack of certainty at times. You put all, what do you humans use? You put all your eggs in one basket. I can't be asked with that line. You know, you put all your hope or all your focus into one person or one idea, one claim. You believe it, you focus in on it, and then eventually you realise, oh, it wasn't true. Or, oh, there's that person countering it now with other evidence. And then it's like, oh, so after all that time, what do you, what do, you do now? Who do you trust? That's the problem. Seen it with Candice Cooley. And I think we'll move on to Candice Cooley in a second because it does tie in there. All I'll say with Earthworm Entertainment, he's out there actively searching along with Kimber and also with Ty previously. They are putting in effort, got to take in mind. They are going into mines and mine shafts, which are awkward to get into, can be unstable, can be dangerous, arguably, arguably putting their lives at risk. So they, they are taking it serious, right? So they are putting in effort, you can't take that away, whether it's successful or not, right? Let's move on to Candice Cooley. This is the problem now. What we're getting to is a bit of a roadblock where with time, there's been a few lies, bit of contradictions, bit of misinformation. Some of it has been cleared up. Sometimes it's been explained and then people have carried on, continued doing whatever. Then there's been a few more lies, a few more contradictions, then it's been cleared up. And recently, once again, maybe more lies than ever, more contradictions than ever, more criticisms more than ever with Candice Cooley. And humans are starting to question the whole case. And that's obviously the worst point you could get to. Because when you're at that state of where you don't know what is true, what is false, you question everything, you question everyone, you question the findings, the evidence, then you're confused, then you're lost. And it's kind of unravelling all the potential effort and progression put into the Dylan Rounds case. I mean, what you must understand with the Dylan Rounds case, there might be things behind the scenes and more formal, more legal stuff, 
more uh, professional things going on which are in place and are secured and just simply awaiting additional evidence so that, that might not be harmed but in terms of public opinion that could be impacted negatively with all this questioning but you can't blame people for being that way i mean you got to look at and you got to credit those individuals that were very sharp with Candice at the start. You could have called them in a negative way. You could have said, oh, they're just doing a witch hunt. But yet they're, they're the people that remain sharp from day one till now. And you're starting to see the cracks emerge with Candice, right? And I know people will say, yes, but this is an individual in a high stress situation. They're the ones suffering. They're bound to make mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But why are they making more mistakes more than ever now? That's what I don't understand. And these mistakes and these changes of information are vast and wide. They're not not, not getting uh, like one day mixed with another. It's like much wider than that and a variety of it. And then also the criticisms of external people trying to help. You know, you got to look at Candice Cooley's behaviour as a whole from start to finish, right? And then you might think different as well. People have said, what do you think about Justin Browns? I can't comment too much on that and give my opinion because I've not seen too much from Justin Rounds. I mean, it was only the Heavy D video where he started openly speaking and talking more. I mean, you could question the body language. Like in the past, he seemed to be more held back, reserved, quiet, his arms crossed, seated back casually in the chair on a formal East Idaho News Channel show interview. And then the more informal one with Heavy D in the barn, he's rocking backwards and forwards, looking down like this, like that. And it's like, you know, is there a reason for it? Is there a bit of suspicion behind that? That's what some people have brought up. And I'll be able to maybe briefly look at that in another video and then tie in with what Andrew Culver had had to say as well. It could explain something, right? So be on the lookout for that. So I can't comment too much on Justin at the moment, me personally, but I have seen enough from Candice to get an idea, right? Um, I wasn't like saying, oh, she's corrupt from the start. I was just saying, hmm, could this be like a Kenny Reach case? Is there something deeper going on, right? And it's the thing. When you start questioning the family or when you start questioning friends of Dylan, general public can get very snappy, a bit nasty, a bit volatile, very defensive because those people are like, how could you accuse or be suspicious of the family, the victims suffering in all of this? But once again, it's called balance. You look at them, you look at someone else, you look at someone else and you question each one to the point where you might come to a conclusion, right? And with what we've seen in this case and how things have gone, you can't help but be a little bit wary, right? I have seen it where humans have been very naive and put trust and put focus in a certain explorer, content creator, whatever it may be on YouTube in the past. They end up changing, they reveal their true colours and then the viewers are like, oh, what do I do? Where do I go? Oh my God. Like that. That's not stability, is it? No, not good. So let's put all that aside because I think I've, you know, cleared most of that up, right? The whole questioning of the case and the way things have gone. As I said, I still think there'll be twists and turns. You are starting to see more isolation between coverage of Dylan Rounds and actual channels out there. There start other channels are branching onto other cases, I guess, or just talking about random different things. I one of the channels, I think it was Mr. X, randomly brought up OnlyFans. No clue what they're talking about there. You got other channels talking about weird toys that you would insert into yourself, and it's like, what's going on? Who knows? We talk about OnlyFans. Hmm. OnlyFans. Yeah. We don't need to talk too much about that. Some of my videos. Hmm. Anyway, 
Actually, that's what I need to bring up very quickly. I have noticed another observation with humans, just humans in general within the Dylan Rounds case, whether it be people that make videos or simply watch, not all, but some I've noticed there's a level of covert narcissism, covert narcissistic behavior. You can either see it visually in videos or auditory, their tone of voice or even the tone of the text in the comments. It just seems to be present. I'm not quite sure why. Obviously, you, you got your little bitch boys, your little gang, your little posses all collecting together here and there. Gang type warfare on YouTube, not literally. You know, you might have the 333 gang, the 666 gang, the 888, whatever. Who knows? So that's how it is. Obviously, the key thing, and I might have briefly mentioned it before, um, in terms of the average age range within the Dylan Rounds case, it's, you know, you'll get some people in their 20s, but it tends to be slightly older people, uh, maybe ages 30 up to 64 years of age or so. Obviously, you've got much more grown up in the, well, not more grown up, but older individuals and the way they act, it's a little bit embarrassing. You know, it's almost like the complete role reversal. You've got these 30, 44, 50, 54 year olds playing up spasmodic, spasticity, spasticness. And it's like, been a naughty boy today. Mm, you know, I am disappointed in you. I'll have to get the belt out and teach you a lesson so you fall back in line and behave. That's the way it's like. It's like, what is going on? But, you know, all these people can keep on talking, but they don't have the belt, do they? No, that's that's a shame for them. But never mind, that aside, Fifty Shades Darker sometime. Oh, what was that? Yeah, you heard. <laughs> you want me to repeat it? No, not yet. So I think what we'll do, we'll move on to Elko now, the city in Nevada. Take a look at it. If you want to, you can visually interpret it and associate it with Dylan Rounds in his disappearance or the build up or before that or with another suspect. Who knows? I'm casually looking at Elko now. Things might get dodgy. OK, let's move on now. Right, so here we are, finally on the maps. As I want to do, as a quick reminder, if you want to know what's recently gone on within the Lucin map analysis videos, some very interesting, very, very deep videos, breakdowns, reconstructions of possible events behind Brenner's behaviour and Dylan's whereabouts. If you want to learn more about that, make sure to go on my channel and look at my recent videos. They are most recent and talk about it, okay? So, moving on here. Yes, we have Montello there, and then you follow the highway from down here, okay? You've got Oasis, you've got Wells, you've got Welcome, thank you very much. And then further down, down here on the 80 highway, you've got Elko, right? We're gonna be taking a look at Elko because it's been talked about previously, right? And I just want to have a look at the area itself. It's a city, you got an airport, it looks more established, so that's good. If it's more established, does that mean it's not going to be as dodgy? Hmm, could be in for a slight disappointment, don't you think? Now, what should we look at first, the motels or the fast food place? Ooh, I'm not too sure. Let's just type in Elko first, just to make sure that it logs in when I start typing in different locations because when I tried it last time, it sent me all over the place. Right. Hmm. What should we do first? Motels? Hmm. I want to do motels first because if it's disappointing, I'd rather end on a good note. Stay Express. Right. Oh my God. E economic. Uh, okay. Okay. Thunderbird Motel. Woohoo. Right. So... Oh my God, all these markers, there's too many. What am I gonna do? Right, so what I'm gonna do is we'll go through each one. I might skip through some of them. You know, if they're really established and they look good, well, there's no point, is there? Can't be criticized, can they? 
So we'll do it in order. We're going to go to Thunderbird Motel first of all. Let's see what that's all about. Here we are. Fucking hell. Where is the motel? I do not see it whatsoever. Oh, here we are. So we've got a different shot for once. Now, I don't know if I've done any other different voices. I do feel that when I do the American ones, they sound a little bit generic, just like the majority of the content creators in the Dylan Rounds case, the way they talk. Do you all sound the same? Um, maybe that's just um, because uh, there's a collection of people all from the same state, but, you know, it's either... Howdy y'all, today y'all, I'm gonna be having a look at this man. Or it's, anyway, I'm gonna be taking a look at this man. Oh my god, this is what we're gonna be doing today. I mean, um, I really wanna be showing you my little hotel room. You know, I'm gonna be really bitchy today because I'm gonna have a cat fight with all the other girls. You know, it's like that. It's like, okay, I've had enough of this. Hey, Shaglini, I'm really displaying my your recent behavior. Yeah. You know, it's... That's basically the whole collection of all the different voices you can go through. But you haven't heard a chill's voice coming into the Dylan Rounds case until I showed up, right? Hello, today we're taking a look in a motel. As you can see by the carpet, it's been dated for a long time. Who knows what has laid on that carpet in the past? You know, up, down, up, down. So I'll have to calibrate my voice as we go along because, uh, you know, when I try to do a different accent, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's cheat, right? So it's just we've just got to work with it, right? You look at this motel, you think, hmm, you know, spacious, wide. We got a table, man. Wrong type. What the fuck is that? Piss poor excuse. You call that night at the round table. Too small, can't even fit two people on it at once. Disaster. Move on. Carpet. Questionable. That carpet does look like the type what you would see in a crime scene and a body, a body is flat out on the floor. Right, that's what it looks like. Uh, we've got a pool there. Interesting shaped one. Someone's like Motel 6 flashbacks. Oh, there we go. What the hell? Wait, is that a bathroom? It's like, oh my god. This is confusing my mind, but you know what, man? We gotta confuse the mind. It's all about confusing the mind. Yeah. What the hell's that? You got a microwave. You got a microwave in a makeshift bathroom or something. Why would you do that? You know? Is it because it, uh, uh <laughs> okay, okay. Well, these people are very, very advanced. <laughs> Whoa, they're on a new level. I know exactly what's going on here. If that, if that microwave malfunctions, it sparks, you put a spoon in when you're not supposed to, it starts setting on fire. It starts setting on fire! Fire! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out! Come out! What impositions do you do? How many generations do you go back? Are you a satanic? In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse you! I didn't know, Lord, I bound you! With all my Bible, all my strength, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Do you need deliverance? I think you have been delivered already. Do you need fixing? I will fix you. You know, it's like that. And obviously, if the, fi if the fire escalates with the microwave, you got the tap on standby. Did Jesus! We got Tyler Villa! Tyler Villa is on standby. I will open the tap. I will flush the water out into time for the blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will bless you. I will spite you with the fire. I will extinguish you. Come out. 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 Now. There you go. Now, there's a high chance that there might be one individual in the live chat right now that might be experiencing some side effects from a potential indirect exorcism. So I think everyone needs to clasp their hands, raise them to the sky and say, Hallelujah! Okay? So, hopefully that person is um, um, free now. Congratulations. The good thing is, we've got everything at our disposal. You know, why would you... No, do you know what? Why would you have microwave and then a coat ha coat hangers, metallic coat hangers above it, you, pl you idiot. And then what else? you got a little... Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you got a little makeshift towel. Hmm. It's got. It's, it's got weight. Is that a towel with a pocket on? Oh my god! I've never seen something so hideous in my life. Move on. What's this? Commercial casino. Ooh, here we go. Thunderbird. Let's go. So that's the inside. Is that the welcome room? Maybe. Well, well, looks like you got some cowboys on the wall. It's right for me. What are you doing behind that desk? I want you to show your face right now, boy. I ain't playing no games. That's the thing with the dome house case. You ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen no cowboys around. That's why shame. No more duels at high noon. That's a problem, isn't it? How would you do a female cowboy accent? Would you just, Hell y'all, I'm a cowboy. I sound a bit dodgy. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I've got some missing teeth. I can't even fucking talk properly. I'm so damn incoherent. I don't know what I'm doing. Would you like to wrap me up in your lasso? I got a big piece of bamboo in my hand. You would like to check it out, mister? <laughs> what the fuck? I think that's not too bad. Interesting. Let's move on. Okay, so pretty simple here. Uh, yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. Whoa, 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 whoa. This, this place is packing some size. Have you seen them? Wow. So we've got a few little handrails as well, which is great. Um, what the hell is that? I'm not quite sure. Is that, is that like the thing you turn on hot and cold water? I've never seen something like that before, that circular thing. But look, we've got a towel there by the side of the bath, or the bath. We've got, um, oh wow, I see exactly what it is now. It's a towel with a pocket for more towels to fit in. Wow, yes, that's, that's what we've always wanted. A towel that holds towels. Yeah, that's great. And then we've got some, we've got four big towels above. So many, so many, you know, if... If we've got, if we come across any more in this motel, I think it's begging for me to review, right? The begging for me to review. Now we've got uh, a mountain. Yeah, great. That's very relevant. Great. And then we've got a building here, Elko County. Yeah, great. Um. Mm, okay. Right. Got some flashy lights there. As you see, not too much going on. Same exact room from the looks of it, just a different angle. Okay. Did I miss anything there? Nope, no one hiding behind the bed or anything like that. Got some artwork on the side there, which is kind of interesting. Are they bullet holes? I'm not too sure. Wouldn't surprise me, ma'am. Fucking counter! Why am I back here? Get away. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, Chinese writing! Is that no year? No, I don't understand. Great, thank you. Mail drop. Ca I want to collect my package. You collect it now. Takom, it's coming. Oh, it's here. Hiya, can you hear? Okay. We've got some um, antlers on there. Great. Before I forget, did I say I can do Kermit the Frog, or at least attempt it? Hey, everybody, it's me, Kermit the Frog. As you can see, I love this green sheet. It's the same color as me, almost, because I'm Kermit, and I love frogs. There you go. Kermit the Frog, look at that time. It's past your bedtime, boy. You need to go now. Go get your sleep. Let's go. Get me out of here. <clears throat> I'm in a dry throat already. That's not good. What's this? E oh, Esquire. Esquire. Squire. Get back in now. Vacancy is available. Upgrade Wi-Fi, DSL, micro fridge, HBO, DVD, LCD, TV, fucking hell. It's not an OLED. I'm disappointed, man. Disgusting. They can see. Mm. What else have we got here? Also, we've got to be on the lookout for cameras, right? I mean, this looks more like a cartel compound from all these dodgy balconies. You know, you probably walk along and then they jump out. Ah, oh, freeze. You're under arrest. Oh, sorry. We are corrupt. What's going on? I don't know, Jose. Jose! We need to take cover. Oh my god, what's going on here? Oh my goodness, gracious me! We got the fucking touch my heart! Don't touch my heart! 
stick but even trust the core in juice might be thrown in days or just what the cold back there when I'm sleeping in the bed when I'm looking at the which is the bed with Tony if I'm running is the good look at the morning and we're like sorry that was um, the Indian malfunction and <clears throat> look at that look at bloody Taj Mahal what Taj Mahal doing in here what is going on what is going on there is too much clutter too much clutter you read back there we got some nice mahogany but I'm sure it is a knocker. It is not true. It is not not true. And that is disappointed. The TV. What is going on? I would want my curry in the hurry. There is no ready mob. Oh, this is this. There you got the motorbike phone. A motorbike. I dialed the room service. Hello, Mister. My name is Mister. What is my name? Uh, I am Mister Apu. Uh, I would love to have a curry right now. You know, hurry. You better be very quick, you know. When I eat that curry, it will come out the same exact fucking way. It is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so thanks for clearing that up. Um, terrible colour design, definitely. It doesn't look Indian. It just looks dodgy, right? Uh, um, yeah, not much I can say about that. Oh, here we go. Towels, towels, towels. Right, I am going to... What do you want? Do you want a towel review in uh, my voice or the chills voice? Mm, I'll do my voice first. So, what you must understand is Dylan Round's community or not, majority of humans will sound very, very generic. Though, how often do you hear this voice? How often do you hear this tone? I don't think much. It's a good thing I'm here. So if you do ever make your way into this motel, you must be prepared. There are many towels at your disposal. Yeah. So if there's any issues, any accidents, don't worry, there is an endless supply. And these towels... The texture and the thickness, they will absorb anything. So you do not need to worry, right? Hmm. When you look at this bathroom, is it to your liking? Is it your standards? Let me know. And you see those towels? If you want large, you can have that. But if you want a small towel, that is available as well. Your needs are covered. You do not need to worry. Now the thing is, there's a slight problem. If you have released yourself, you're ready to flush away, but you've got big hands, how the fuck do you fit your hand in between that gap? What a shocking design is that? Can you see? You got the sink countertop, and then you got the handle right next to it. How are you supposed to get your hand down there? What if you get stuck? You know, it's like, hello, I'm stuck. Can you help me? Not like that, please. I'm really stuck. When I say I'm stuck, I'm literally stuck. You know, I can't get my hand out. What am I going to do? Oh, my God. I think that was moments before disaster, that when the voice broke came out. We got a different angle there. Oh, for God's sake, I have reviewed your towels, I have sung your praises, and you're still throwing it into my face. I understand. I understand. Yes, there's several towels. You've done it almost like a statue. All right, stop. Stop rubbing it in, okay? Toilet is clean. Congratulations. And now we return back to this weird, odd bedroom, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, that bed, at least that bed's longer, right? Oh, for God's sake, more towels. Another bathroom. Whoa. Okay. Calm down. Whoa, the towels are coming back. But you know what? I'll choose the towels any day over those uh, uh, malfunctioning here. Those dips. And those fingertips. You remember? With KFC. That obsession. Woo. Enough to scar someone. We don't want to see that again. No. 
but unfortunately we might be shortly. Right, so we've got two beds there, great. Yeah, from that angle, they all seem to have the same type of doors and locks on them, which is interesting. Some different coloured bed sheets. Ooh, we've got a little camera there. What are you taking pictures of? Ooh. Wait, what is this individual doing? Anyway, man, you know what? I'm going to take a picture of my bedroom when I'm staying in. But guess what? I'm going to take a photo while my actual camera is on the table. Got to confuse the mind, man. What the fuck is that? What? Why not just use that camera to take the photo? Why? 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 I don't understand. Hmm. This person's makeshift putting a flower into a bottle. Interesting. No vase. Got some bikes there. What that say on the sign? Warning. I do dumb things. Congratulations. Um, what's going on in this room? Um, oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on here? Been ransacked. We've got some bags up there. We got some are they peppers and we got the <laughs> Got the bananas as well. The gorillas will definitely like them. That was a monkey film. You wanna hear a gorilla? You wanna hear a gorilla? Hmm. I don't know if I've still got the same ability as I did previously in the past. I'll have to try. <laughs> 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 I think that's a combination between King Kong and a grizzly bear, but, you know, on the spot, I think it's a pretty good um, recreation. Okay. Wait, is that a pregnancy test? Is that a pregnancy test? Or is it something else? I don't know. Hmm, interesting. Two single beds as well. Even more interesting. Right, so this person tried taking a photo, but their finger has got in the way of the camera. Great professional photography, man. Fantastic. Right, we're out of here. Good. We got to get out. Get me out right now, Esquire. Economy in. God, that sounds a little bit shit. <clears throat> At least we're getting some dodgy looking motels, right? Oh my god. Economy in. High speed Wi Fi. Oh my god. High speed, hmm, high speed light with the bed. What's going on here? Now, that's got an interesting pattern to that bed. It's very wide, isn't it? Hmm, interesting. Now, I guess the other question is, you know, if you're gonna be riding any horses on the bed, will these beds break or are they quite durable? You know, you never know when someone might bring a horse in and says, come on, boy, come on, boy. I'm going to ride you to high noon. I hope you're ready, boy. I hope you got the stamina. You know, you never know what goes on in certain rooms, right? I think um, I was, um, there was some like, what was it now? Is it Vice? Some undercover hotel thing saying there was all kinds of corrupt and dark things that went on inside of rooms and there was people upside down and defecating on the walls. So I don't know how that happened. Hmm. Anyway, what's going on here? Oh, for God's sake, why have we got more bananas? What is it with the bananas all of a sudden? Is this the new trend? Welcome. Today, we're looking at bananas. As you can see, there's a mystery going on in the world of America. When you're in America motels, you will see bananas. And when you come across them, you better make sure you are safe. Make sure you take a friend when you're going down these dark rooms and dark times. If not, you may never appear. Recently, in October, there was an individual that went into one of the rooms and never came out. CCTV footage captured the individual panicking in a state of arousal. I don't understand what's going on. Well, there you go. So, I think I'm getting that. Well, not getting there in terms of that with the banana. I mean, I'm just getting there with the the voices. You got some dodgy dark cream in the background. Someone took a picture on the outside. I wonder if anyone's going to start taking pictures looking through the window. Oh my God, Troy! Troy Wadsworth, what are you doing here? Stop taking photos looking through the window. I know you did that in the trailer, Montella, man. Ten times up, Montello. Oh my God. Oh no. Whoa. We've got black towels now. Whoa! Are the black or the blue? I'm not quite sure. It's the colouring. It's it's hard to tell. 
And what's that there? I don't know. It looks a little bit... Mm, I don't like this. No. Okay, take a picture of a phone. Why? I don't understand. Great. What's this? Big Bang Theory. Okay, I'm going to do it in... What if I should do it in a different ways? Okay. Yes, Pancake, Banner, Nami, Comedy, 2008, Johnny, Galaxy, Jump, Present, Kelsey, Kuro, Little and Boys, Boy Shell, and Wendy Girl Sink, Lim Parents with Nothing Back to Health, High Definition, Sink Series, Series, This Info, Big Bang Theory, TBS, TBS, HG, 247, 6212, TBS. I don't know what that voice was, to be honest, but there you go. So, yeah. We've got some random toilet paper on the side. Don't know why it's there. They couldn't be bothered taking it to the bathroom. Oh, my God. What is going on with these weird rooms? You know, this is this is a weird one, right? Um, you got... I think that's toilet paper, but it's all wrapped up brand new, so... Um, uh, you got a little towel there. No. You know, I feel threatened by this room. I don't like it. Whoa, what's going on here? What does that say? Welcome, economy in. Do you want to really be waking up to looking at that in the morning, Ben? I don't know. Microwave, we've got a fan, obviously. Um, oh, this person's called Not Your Kitty Victoria. Okay, calm down. Does your cat need stroking? Let me know. That sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Mm. Anyway. A little kitty cat, yeah. You need tending to? Well, not this individual, definitely not. Not when they leave this bed in a state. What have they been doing? Oh my God, tidy up after yourself. Disgusting. And there's two beds as well. Look at those crease marks. Hmm. And what's all the pillows all over the place? They must be having a pillow fight. Or oh, someone did, I don't know, whoever. I have no clue. Now, I guess we might as well be rating the beds as well. How durable are these beds, right, for each one? Um, high maintenance bed? Is it going to break in a moment of seconds? Does it have good springs? I don't know. You know, that's what we've got to be looking at. Fucking microwaves all over the place. Got some tissues as well, bless you. Um, there's not really much else to it. Oh, well, more towels. White and brown towels, right, okay. Um, and then in here, just another room. Fucking hell, that's a wide bed. Why does it need to be such a wide bed? How many people are you going to fit into that bed? Oh, my God. What's going on there? Like human centipede. We're all going to fit on. Damn. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here with these? This is a weird photo, like, right in the corner. It's really dark, but at the same time, it's kind of light-coloured. This looks like a torture room. Or, do you know what? Where's that table? Where's that chair? Get that tripod and that camera out and start... Start moving! Harder! Faster! Right now! Yeah, that, that definitely does seem like a dodgy, dodgy, dodgy room. This is this very dodgy, you know... Look how dark it is in the corners. Oh, look at the... Mmm, yeah. Yeah, that bed. That bed has been through a lot, right? That bed needs counselling. Oh, my God. And that's the end of the line. We're, we're going out marching now. Ni hao. Get off my screen. I am done with you. Right. What else have we got? We've got Traveller's Motel. We've got Holiday Motel. Apologies if I'm going a bit slow. But what the fuck has just gone on in that room? Oh my god. What's all that doing? Why Why would you pile it all on top of each other right in the corner? You're trying to hide something. What is going on here? What is going on with those bed sheets? What is going on with that mattress? What is going on with those pillows? It's all... It's all... Do you know what? It really wouldn't surprise me. That bed is very moist and wet because it looks wet when you look at it. You see the damp patches. You see where it's a bit dark. It seems a bit dirty. I think it needs washing. I don't know if it's fresh or whatever. It doesn't look too good. And I think some people probably are feeling a little bit sick when looking at that, okay? But don't worry. It will be fixed shortly. And you got that vehicle there. What's that? A Chevrolet, I think. 
Right, okay, we've got some trailers here. Quite a big one. Yeah. Ah, uh, the person has tidied up now. Well, a little bit, but damn. Oh my God, have you seen that headboard? It looks very loose. You know, I can imagine, you know, if you're in the other room, you'll hear that headboard, you know, it'll be banging against the wall, that headboard. It looks very unstable. Now, you could ask, why would the headboard be banging against the uh, wall? I don't know. Do you want to elaborate? Feel free. More trailers, not interested. Oh my God. So someone's got very creative. They've done a smiley face because there's so much dust on it. Wow. What a mess. That's not good. What's going on here? Not much. Microwave. It's always a microwave. It's never ending microwaves, man. This is, this is not good. What is going on? I heard Doug from um, No Thanks was trying to do an Arnold impression. You're failing miserably. Another Arnold gets to the tongue. If you want to go very deep, you'll never get as deep as me. You understand, Doug? Learn how to get to the chamber right now. Hopefully people was able to hear that coherent language then. But with the apocalypse of the fucking... What is going on, the... Oh my god, can't even talk no more. These microwaves are microwaving my brain conspiracies. I need to wear I need to wear a hat to prevent the microwaves from entering my brain. I do not want to be penetrated, man. I do not want that. No more. No more? What the fuck? What's going on here? Rooms and up. Daily, weekly, rates, cable, HBO, micro fridge. Ooh, so small. Oh. Okay. Jarvis is my co-pilot. Good for you. What's this? Right, so we've got some very pointless signs. You want to show the rooms instead of signs? Okay, so this is number five, and we've got some weird beaded thing upon... What's that? <laughs> what is that balancing on the side of that wall? Hmm, looks a little bit dodgy. Oh my God, it's going to be a drug raid. It's a drug room. Drug den. What the fuck's going on? Probably Aaron Wadsworth. Aaron Wadsworth's moved on. It's starting a new drug operation, paraphernalia. Oh no. The hell's going on with this room? Is it like all voodoo? 943 Doolittle Avenue. Looking. What, what's this got to do with a fucking motel? The hell? I don't know. This is just stupid. It's stupid. I've had enough ideas. I've not done the Johnny Depp one since because it's been a failure, hasn't it? Really, really, where I'm going. We go to your holiday motel. Let's see what we can find. Now, when you fucking, oh, crikey, are you fucking Australian, mate? Holiday motel. What's that? Some kitchen. Yet, what the fuck's that? Weekly right, no vacancy, wireless internet, DVD micro fridge. Fucking hell. You say that's a micro fridge, you come down under. The size is uncomparable, mate. We do things a lot bigger down under. King ESPN HBO, low weekly on daily, continental, what the, I don't, I don't care, mate. Right, mate, sitting down in the chair, what are you doing there? You look a little bit dodgy, what is, what are you doing down there? Hmm, you know, the way he sat there, he's like, hello, nice to meet you, you swing well, but miss terribly. I don't know what he's doing there. He's got a little dodgy laptop next to it, you've got this bed, it seems... Quite durable, but maybe not in their circumstances. Anyway, let's move on. We've got someone with the shakes, because it's very blurry, this. Got some coffee on the table. That explains it all. They were having a fucking coffee caffeine overdose. Oh, my God. Yeah, I went to Starbucks. I got a coffee. Yeah, I cannot stop drinking it, you know. I'm drinking all my coffees. I'm hanging out with all the girls. Oh, my God. You go, girl. Oh my god, you can fit so much coffee down your mouth. What else can you do? Oh my god. You know, that's probably how conversations may go. I might be wrong. Why am I doing? Oh my god. Did I seriously do a voice like that? Oh my god. I'm sorry about all that. You know, when I try to talk, it seems to always go downhill, you know. I really don't know. I need to control myself. Yeah. 
We can now sound like a door creaking when I'm talking. Anyway. Yeah, oh god, this car's come back. How, how far does this car get? It gets all about. Yeah, you know, all these signs as well. Hmm. I don't care about the signs. Get me in the room right now. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a little hat over there on the table. And we've got a little hat there. That looks like Jay Silverheels. Hmm, interesting. So we've got hats all over the place. Where's the towels? We've not seen any towels for a bit. Haha, <laughs> have we finally broken free? Yes, look at that, only 11 images. Good. So we might be getting away from the towel trend, which is interesting. We did that one, didn't we? Yeah. What's it? Stay Express and Elko. Okay. What's going on here? Okay, that actually looks all right. Decent colored backdrop, yeah. Um, the bed looks fine. I don't know how durable it is. I don't know if it can withstand impact and intensity, but the bed sheets look clean, pure and white and have a nice pattern at the bottom. But I don't think you'll be focusing too much on the patterns when sleeping, right? Um, we've got um interesting bathroom. I think that must be a mirror. No, it's not a mirror. Oh my God, it's messing with my eyes so much. Can't see any towels. Where's the towels? Oh my god, there's no towels in there. What the hell are you gonna be doing? Oh, don't worry, don't worry, I got you covered. We got the we got the mirror shot. Look, a little towel in the corner. Thank God. That's good, that's good. Okay, that's reception. Um coffee. Or oh, what the fucking going on with these fucking Indians? We are in fucking Erico County, and there seems to be a lot of Indian references. That does not make much sense to me. I am sick and tired. I am going to report it. I really I need all of this. I really sound very good when I try to get them set. I think I'm going to get the curry. I'm really, really tired. Not bad. Is it possible to do... Um, what was I going to say? Is it possible to do an Indian Arnold? Yeah, I get the curry. You know, Ali, I don't know what I'm doing. A little little get out of the trolley, on to the next pizza. Okay, sounds like it's too expressive. Did you know I could do an Irish dog sound? You know how that goes? Woof, 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 woof. And the, the chicken. Potatoes. You see, you can do an accent with certain animal sounds. Hmm. I mean, there's not much going on here, to be fair. Nothing too dodgy. Oh, first time I've actually seen an ironing board in a room. First time. Oh, the the white microwave. What is it with white microwaves, man? They're all over the place. Can't get out. Right, so this is a bit of a dodgy setup. So you've got the bed there, and then you've got two chairs nearby. So I don't know if it's one of those things where you just walk on in, Sit down, take a seat, why not? Take a seat and then the other two people get into bed and then you just sit down and watch. I don't know, it might be one of those rooms. Pfft, I don't know. Um, Same angle, same one. Oh, we've got some towels. Oh my God, I feel threatened. We've got some very long towels there. That's unfortunate. Wow. We've got some sideways handrail. Interesting. Toilet looks all right. Look at those towels. Look at those. Look at the long towels. Wow. Um, look, they've even left the door open so you can see the towels. I really want to ram that in your face. And we've got a microwave by the side as well. Uh, oh, what the hell? Why do you have a table and two chairs facing the end of the bed? So people get in the bed. Yeah, let's jump into bed. Let's have a sleepover, man. I can't wait. Oh my god, why is the people at the end of our bed sat down near the table? Why are they looking at us? What do they want? Like, why do you have chairs facing that way? Who is actually going to get up and think, right, I'm going to sit down and stare at my bed. I'm going to really visualise it. Oh my god, when you look at that bed, you look at the sheets, you look at the artwork. It's motion in action. Oh my god, you know, the bed sheets, the, the twisted and the tornness, the tension of those pillows really highlight the extensive nature and violent tension that occurred the night before when two people got a bit too excited. What the hell? Who does that? No one. No one does that. 
with pumpkins. Old fucking fucking India. And now I stay. I'm really getting sick and tired of this. Fuck off. This is not about India. This is about fucking the water. But I'll take those pumpkins. Speaking of which, getting to Halloween. We got some pumpkins there. It looks like it says love on it. Is that love on the pumpkins? I don't know. It looks like it. Uh, once again, we've got the trend of let's place the chairs there so we're facing the bed so we can get a front row seat. I think this must be the VIP rooms. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, calm down. So you've got bed sheets torn and twisted and you've got someone's, is that underwear on the floor? Whoa, <laughs> calm down. Oh, I wondered when we were going to get dodgy. We, we're reaching a new level at this point. Whoa, it gets even better. There's actually a towel folded in the shape of a swan. That is what I demanded in my last motel analysis. And we finally have a towel centered the screen right there in the shape of a swan. And it's a towel and it's a swan. Yes. About time. About time. It's blessing time right now. It is blessing time right now. Bless, bless the swan. We've got an ironing board, we've got an iron, we've got a foldable chair, some dodgy thing underneath there. Uh, we've got the bed sheets as well, which have been in action. We've got some underpants or some kind of clothing twisted and folded upon the floor. Ooh, what are they doing? And then you've got a towel on the ground as well. Someone must have uh, got a bit too excited or they couldn't quite make it, so they had to dry it up. But this is what I mean, man. This is what I mean. This is exactly what we need to demonstrate. We need to demonstrate the flexibility, the durability, the extensiveness of what these towels get up to. These towels can be bent, twisted. We can do fucking origami with these towels and turn them into a swan. Whatever you want. And if that's too much, don't worry, man. If you get a little too excited, you piss your pants. Don't worry, we got a towel to mop it all the wetness off the floor. This is what I mean. It's all in action. I am whacking myself right no not whacking myself that sounds dodgy i'm slapping myself silly right now because i'm very passionate about these towels you know they're being used for all different activities but i don't know about them join us today when we walked into the room the cameras depicted a strange individual marching up and down we don't understand what was going on and we did not find the individual afterwards but upon closer inspection it appears the individual left the room without any pants on that is somewhat horrifying join us next time till we find out where the individual is and see if we can find a resolve my name is chills join Join me on my second channel as we talk about many of the different topics and listen to my music on Spotify. There you go. Wow, I'm getting to a new... Oh, do you know what? I don't blame it. I don't blame it. In fact, there's no more images. This guy called David Strong. David Strong. Can the same be said about those things found on the carpet? I'm not too sure. Anyway. Wow. Okay, now... There's so much going on, man. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Travel Lodge. Super 8. Oh, not Super 8. No, no, no. What's going on here? Okay. Travel Lodge looks a bit more... Yeah, this is what I mean. We finally have a more reformed place. A little bit bit better, arguably speaking. Look at those towels. Very formal. Very folded. All looks very clean. Oh, my God. It's so nice. Such a nice change for once. Look at all that. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's um, some, like, news report, weather report. Yeah, you know what, man? The numbers don't lie. They spell disaster, man. It's coming your way. Okay, so we've got bloody microwave again. God damn it. A little nice little rainbow. Oh, my God. It really makes me excited. It reminds me of all the journeys I had when I was younger. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck off. I don't care about that shit. Fuck off. What's this? Right, so bloody microwave once again. Sick of seeing them. We've got the fucking table layout of let's put a table there. Let's put two chairs and stare right at that bed. Whoever might be in that bed. You wake up and you see my face staring right at you at the bed. Yeah. Is that exactly what you want? Do you want to be in a motel like this? I'm asking you a question, and I demand 
an answer. I also demand eye contact. I want you to look me right in the eye. And you answer this question. Do you want to be in this room and wake up seeing an individual or two at the end of your bed comfortably sitting down staring right at you? Is that the sort of thing that excites you or does it disgust you? Do you want to stay here or not? You better give an answer soon or you may not be, you know, able to have the choice. Right, okay. Oh my god. Okay. We got the we got the towels. Yes. Oh, we got the microwave. No. But we've got the ironing board, and that's a big one. Whew. Actually. Oh my god, I'm seeing a correlation here. You see that? You see those dodgy little dangling black straps? That's the same exact thing what we saw in the last motel in that small little corner of that room with that little rail going across. It was for an ironing board all along. I knew it, man. I'm an expert when it comes to this stuff. <clears throat> Wait, what's that person doing? Oh, I thought there was someone there. Okay, so there's not much going on here. Let's be realistic. Someone's taking a picture of mountains. More interesting than the actual motel itself. Right, there you go. That's the end of that. Very good. We go to Super 8 by Wayna Dom Iko Waja. Ujiga Lijia Waja Wa. Not the waste no Wada Museum. Zupoe the Winya Do Elko. You go to Jibwa. Okay, let's see what this is. Hey, this. You see? You see? I am going to teach you my deep African voice. You may like things a little deeper and darker. Do not worry, I have you covered. So, when you see this place, you see the colors, you see the vibrancy, you see the patterns. You know, this is what reminds me of my home. My home, it gives me hope, okay? This is the type of room where I would spend my time with Joanna. Joanna, where are you? I need Joanna. Come back now, I miss you so much. Who is Joanna, you ask? That is none of your business. You get a little too close. Maybe you will find out who Joanna is. You may be the next. You know, you do not want to. You do not want to know. What the fuck is this? The outline of this looks like a zoo. Do I look like I belong in a zoo? I don't belong in a zoo. Get me out of here right now. I don't know what, boy. What is going on, man? Whew. Okay. That does make one a little bit... Breathless. Okay. So, we've got some little sheets here. As well, what's very necessary in these videos is here and there we need some kind of alarm or some kind of loud sound because at times people can get a little bit sleepy or a little bit too relaxed. So, we just need to remind people, you know, the video is still ongoing. As this video demonstrates, I love this room. I love the colors. Well, I love the colors to go. Remind me of the place where go to weather. You see the floor. When you're in here, you will not be confused. You're not going to be asking, where, where's the way? Where's the way? The way is here. The way of life. The way, the meaning. The way you activize your, your inner thoughts. You display your emotions. You reach a third, 3D, 5D density. You go to a new level. When you're in the in bed, your feet are no impact. You, you bound the individual. You give it a wide. You run you like a cowboy. You understand the meaning. Oh my god, where is there two beds? I am not being separated from my wife. Where is my wife? You were in the other room. Why are you having an affair with me? Why are you having an affair? I am being disappointed. Don't worry, I have eight more wives. It's under control. Do not worry. Bear in mind, with all these voices, they are not a true reflection of me, okay? Just remember that. So what is going on here? Not a lot. Moving on. Okay, we've got a washing machine. We've got two of them. So if Don Haley has a little bit of a hissy fit, don't worry, there's some washing machines here. I'm sure they'll work. Some artwork of birds, interesting. We've got a dodgy, dark, cornered room, just exactly what you would want. Oh, no. Why is it more bedsheets, man? You know, Elko is a wild place. All these people not folding their bedsheets, leaving all crease marks and indentations. Wow. We're on a new level. Whoa, we can't have it without the dog. This explains it all. God damn it. If it weren't for you meddling dogs, this mystery would have been solved quick enough. That dog 
is responsible for all these bed sheets being such a mess. That dog is running around in every single room and messing up the sheets. I wouldn't be surprised if that dog is used to wake everyone up inside. Oh my God, my throat is fucked up. I need to get a drink shortly. I need to get some water. But you get the idea, that dog, that dog, naughty dog, messing up all those bed sheets. I hope you tidied them back up. I wonder if the dogs go to bed as well. You know, get under the sheets as well. The fuck are we doing a hot air balloon? Is there even a... There's not even anything attached to it, so I don't think you'd be going anywhere. Ooh, I was, I was going to say something then, but I'm not. Um, okay. Right. Looks a bit shit. Um, okay. Okay. No handrails. Disappointing. Wow. Right. Did we do Super 8? I don't even know, man. At this rate, I'm so confused. You know, it's one of those things, man. Right, so we've looked at that. Whew. Two more. Two more remain. We've got Comfort in and we've got the dreaded Motel 6. No, man. Right. Very quickly, before we continue, I need to get a drink, okay? What does that mean? Don't worry. You can get an ASMR of the liquid, okay? I hope this doesn't shoot everywhere because it's going to get a little bit messy. Yeah, you like that? You want to be hydrated? You know, you want the liquid to flow through your system? Is that what you want? Yeah, don't worry. I can give you it. Don't worry, it's in my hand right now. A little bit more. You want to hear the sound, the crisp, sparkling liquid mm, escaping, and the gas is too. Don't worry. I'll give you that. Shh, shh. Be quiet, be quiet, so you hear the sound ASMR. Hmm. I don't know if you heard that, but that was me swallowing some liquid. Yeah. Oh my god. It's getting a, bit, a little bit too weird now, isn't it? I don't blame you if you think that. Even I think it's getting a bit dodgy. That's saying a lot. Anyway. Comfort in. That's exactly what you want to go. You want to go to a place where there's comfort. Where you'll feel comfy. And that room is decent. No dodgy microwaves from that angle. Bed sheets are tidy. Window is decent. Decent colouring. The tone, the contrast, it blends with one another. The brown, almost leather-like texture works. Standard pool. Reasonable. Oh my god, this is too normal. We've got a conference room. That's exactly what we need. We need to get everyone in a conference room right now. Yo, fool! Get in the conference room right now. We got some business. Get on with this. You know, you need to help all these people off. Got a waffle maker. Not a waffle maker. Would you call it a waffle maker? Or do you call it um, a waffle something? I don't know. Uh, waffles. Okay. First, fir firster. Who's thirsty? Hmm? I don't know. What does that sound there? Uh, your flavor. Your morning sizzle, your morning goodness, your morning chill. Oh my god. You know me too well. Okay, we got the spraying and all that. Little gloves and hands. What is going on here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, now the microwave. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. Oh, you're in a little closet there. Door closed. What are you hiding in there? Hmm? I know you're hiding behind that screen. I know you're kind of cringing right now, but there's no need to be scared. There's no need to be nervous. Just just let me in. Yeah, let me in. I want to see what's behind that door. Well, you know, these rooms are actually normal. Oh my God, we've got a couch. A couch instead of a chair. 
Wow, definitely upgraded all of a sudden. And you know what? We're going to plummet back down to ground zero once we get back to Motel 6. Okay, so kind of okay. Uh, whoa, look at the towels. That's the most towels I've ever seen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven towels. Damn, that's a lot. Comfort in. Okay. Can't, yeah, okay. Got a gym as well. Okay, so that's all good, right? You're satisfied with that? Now prepare to uh, go backwards. We're at Motel 6. Yes, I'm not even joking, man. What the hell? Oh my god, is that is that photoshopped? Yes. Today I'm going to take some great photography. I'm going to take a photo of the bed with the door open. Fucking idiot. Who does that? Who takes a picture with the door open? I don't understand. It's probably to, to show off the view. Wait, why does this... Ah, there we go. I wondered. Oh my god! What's Kurt Wadsworth doing here? That's Kurt Wadsworth, John Deere fucking tractor digger. What's Kurt Wadsworth doing here? He's probably got pissed. He's thinking, anyway, I'm going to tear up all this. Man, I want to cause destruction. I'm not a drunk old bastard, man. I got no more wigs present. I got no more dodgy individuals to come in my trailer. So I'll just fucking go to the motel and find some of my own people. I hope there's people dressed with wigs and dresses that are real Turns me on. But you know what? The second thing that turns me on in my life is that John Deere tractor. I love fiddling with that fucking gear sticker knob. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. What are you doing? You know, you can tell Moto 6 is going to shit now because look, they're fucking digging up the ground. They're about to knock it down. Kurt Wadsworth is going on a rampage and now we've got to a nice, soft calming tone so whilst all the chaos is going on outside all the noise destruction and vibrations you're in tranquility in this room as the towels are all centered just like yourself and you can use them see one extreme to another what is going on okay so they are starting to look a little bit more normal now, Motel 6. Maybe Wendover was just a bad representation, right? That seems to be the case. Hmm. Yeah. That TV's a little bit high up, I guess. Got a microwave again. Oh, my God. Yep. Okay. Yep. Bathroom. Great. Um, that that goose sound when people said it sounded like a donkey. Yeah, it kind of does. Um, just randomly thought of it on the spot. You know, no, the donkey. Are you doing the donkey? <laughs> <laughs> and the goose. Wait. <laughs> it's it's difficult to do. I think you gotta have a bit of a voice break when you're doing it. No, I'm going into opera singing all of a sudden. Don't know why. Why are, you, why are you leaving the door open whilst taking a photo? Is it like you want to invite someone in? I bet this person's like, yeah, you, you, yeah. Come into this room right now. And you get into this room right now. And fucking get to action. Fucking work it right now. I've got this camera recording. I've only got limited battery space and, and storage. So get to action. I don't know. I really don't understand. Right, that's the end of that. Whoa, I'm deeply disappointed by Motel 6. I expected more dodginess, but guess what? We'll take our business elsewhere because those other places were a little bit questionable, weren't they? Mm, so yeah, final words would be And then we move on to KFC. Here we go. KFC. Let's go on. Boom, boom, boom. Here we are. So, as you know, KFC, how does that relate to the Dylan Browns case? Well, not in this location, moreover in Clinton, Utah, is the place where Chase Venstra was at at some time in the day on the 28th when Dylan went missing. You never know, someone, somewhere, somehow may have visited here at a point in time too. So we just take a look at the surrounding area as well as the inside, see if there's any cameras, see if anyone has any stories to tell in the chat. 
share your thoughts, opinions, whatever it may be, feel free, okay? So we've got the typical images once again. Where's the hands? Oh, don't seem to be any hands yet. So that's what it looks like. Are we going to get any dodgy photos of regurgitated chicken? Anyone spitting things out? We'll see if that trend continues on in this video. So we've got the outside nighttime shots. We've got the drive through on drive through on the side. We've got the hands, of course. Where's the nails? Boom, there you go. Expected it. Yeah, where's the dodgy photos? There we go. And there's the stupid bread roll. Not the stupid roll, it's a stupid bun. Like, what purpose does it have? Why is it even there? We found it thrown on the floor. We found it on a seat. We found it squashed. We found it all over the place. You know, it wouldn't surprise me that fucking bun ended up walking itself to one of the motels and caused the bed sheets to be a complete mess. Yeah, it's a menace. It's a danger to this world. Yeah, you know, more dangerous than probably Brenner. Fucking hell. So you got some weird lumpy thing back there. I think that must be gravy and mash. I hope it is because I don't know what other brown lumpy stuff it could be. You got some chicken there, which luckily has not been bitten into yet. So that makes a change. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm too late. Why do I say that? What's going on here? Yeah, what the hell? Disgusting. Someone's already been nibbling at that. To be honest, that probably, this is probably taken by the shack lady. And you know what? I don't blame the shack lady because aside from all the drama going on recently and all the bot accounts, you know, if you remember the shack lady, she said that she was going to go to a place to get some chicken and failed. It took seven attempts, seven places to visit to get chicken. So you know what? Okay, shack lady, I'll let you off this time for taking a photo like that. I know you're hungry. I know there's a lot going on, but next time, maybe take a better photo. Okay. So there we go. We've got that sorted, all under control. Colonel Sanders, man. I don't know how to do his voice. Mm, what's that? Our uh, menu just got tastier. Mm. What, does that mean I can eat the sign? Oh my god, this sign tastes really nice. Okay, that looks fairly, you know, decent. You've even got little paper napkins to absorb any grease and to prevent the chips from falling on the dirty trays. So that is considerate. This person's decided to uh, eat in the vehicle. Oh my god, what are them? Are those green beans? What the fuck is that concoction? Oh my god. So you got some weird bread there. Oh, that must go on top of that. They must have took it off just to reveal what the chicken looks like. And then you, what? What is that? Oh no. Yeah? I'm going to be so quirky today. I'm going to go to KFC, where all the fast food is, but I'm going to get some veggies. Mm, the veggies, what you get from the cr grocery store? Yes, we're going to, need to process the price. Oh, my God. I'm going to use my coupon codes, because I'm like the shack lady. That's not that's not a diss that I'm just uh, using my memory. So I'm going to use my coupon codes in KFC. I'm going to be very quirky. I'm going to get some fucking vegetables, veggies, when you get from fucking veggies and whatever. Why would you get that? Throw that out of the window now. Just eat the chicken. Forget the green stuff. Throw it out. Disgusting. What else is there? He's got some... Are those uh, wine gums or crisp? He's got some uh, lotion as well. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know why. But never mind. Are those underpants wrapped around the uh, the knob of that stick? What's he doing with his underpants off? Oh, I don't know. Let's move over quick. Uh, Wendy's, why are we looking at Wendy's, it's supposed to be KFC, rude, dude man, not man, fuck crikey mate, sorry, sorry apologies mate, just tried to take a little picture, right? I'm fucking surfing in the wave, I just come from Australia, I just want to just upload this to KFC and fucking Elko mate, love the sunset, cracking, great work down here, you know, why aren't you down the surfing? Good day, world. Bottle fosters. Fucking hell, mate. There we go. There we go. KFC. I wonder if that person is present. Chihuahua. Uh, okay. Not much going on there. Oh, wow. Let's take a photo of a light. Fucking useless. Um, right, great. Yeah, not much going on there. Oh, that's the end. No. Oh, my God. Get off. Get off. Fucking get off. I'm trying to get off here. 
Pizza Hut. Yes, well, we'll kind of do that. Fuck off. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's keep it relevant, then. Little Caesars. Don't know how to spell it. Ha! <laughs> no bad. Right. Here we are. How many are we working with? Come on. Fucking hell. Let me actually zoom out. Let me zoom out, first of all. Oh, my God. It's all f going on down here. What? We've only got one. Oh, my God. It's one of everything. Oh, we'll have to make do with it. Hot and ready zone. Oh, my God. We're already getting there. Hot and ready? You know, you're not even letting me warm up. We've got to do it on the spot right now. I'll tell you something, though. At least this time, when I've done this video, I was turned on more quicker than other times. You know, sometimes it's like a slow process, you know. Especially the last one. That took a long time for it to turn me on, didn't it? Turn me on. Oh, fuck's sake. No, that sounds... That's the wrong word to use, doesn't it? Oh, bo bollocks. What word do you call it, though? Not... Not that it turns you on, but it takes time for you to warm up, like, when you start doing all the different voices. Does that make sense? I've probably buried myself into a grave now. Fantastic. Okay. Pizza, crazy bread, Caesar wings, Italian cheese. Oh, no. You know what it means by crazy bread. That soft, that soggy, that wet, moist, weird stuff that you put in your mouth. I hope... We do not see any photos of that. Okay, so we've got the default pictures, first of all. Okay, so we've actually got a decent photo. Wow. It's actually a normal one. That makes a change. You know, I wonder how long this will last for. Oh, the fuck's sake, the fucking dip. It didn't last long, did it? The dip. The dip had to make the pick. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know exactly what's going on now. Oh, no. Right, this is the thing. There has been an individual on YouTube that had it in for me, whinging and whining. Calm down. Do I have to get my belt out? Wow. But, you know, we've looked at Tiffany Taboo, okay? We've looked at Graham, the whinging, whining individual. We've looked at Tucker, massive obsession with me. But the other individual who's kind of criticised me, aside, aside from Star Jasmine or Jasmine Star, that's another whingy whiner, but also um, DP. Have any of you heard of DP? Literally, their username is D space P, okay? They've got like um, a dark reddish profile picture and they've been criticising me. The interesting thing is, way back at the start, they sent me an email regarding the Dylan Rouse case saying, I think you're doing a really good job. I really enjoy watching your videos. You know, you provide nice information. I like the way you talk. You know, keep up the good work. And I will, I will get back to you later. See you next time. It was like that. And then fast forward, I get a random email from them recently. And it's saying, listen up, sweetheart. You know, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong, I think you need to stop, I think you need to move on, I think you need to change your information up, I think you just need to walk away, and it's like, well, you've changed your tune, DP, and I think I know why, I think I know why, you know why, this picture, I said, it's a dip pick, dip pick, a dip in a pick, DP, dip pick, dip pick is dip pick. Oh, you thought I was going to slip up then, didn't you? You thought I was going to say it wrong. No, 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 you naughty individual. I have this all under control. Dip, pick, dip, pick, dip, pick. It's very easy to say, so do not try and twist things. So, DP on YouTube, who seems to have some kind of grievances with me, it's probably because of all these dips I've been showing DPs. Wow. Unfortunate. Got some mountain dew. 
I've seen Scott Natal drinking Mountain Dew as well. What have we got here? We've got hot... Oh, Naz, that is what I want. <clears throat> okay, so you've got Little Caesars. Serving up peace of mind. Delivery, delivery, now available with online orders with a dip as well in the pick. Oh, another DP. And it looks like there's two beds here, so I would not be surprised if this person is in one of those bloody motels from beforehand and decides to take pizzas with them. So I told you that there's a connection. There is a connection. People say, oh my God, why are you, taking, why are you, why are you fucking looking at motels, man? It's got no correlation whatsoever. Why are you looking at fucking KFC? Why are you looking at pizzas? Well, look, fucking connects over, man. We've got pictures following over the multiple universe. Multiverse, man. we got crossovers left, right, and south. Forget about Scott Natal, fucking Alan... Scott Natal, the fucking bald eagle man with the snow being cut off like, what are you fucking doing with the fucking Tomb Raider when I'm playing our car brief? Oh my god. But look, you're getting crossovers with pizzas and motels, as you see in the background with the bedrooms, right? And speaking of that pizza, what is that? Oh, for fuck's sake, I thought it said French. Oh, well, that's ruined that now. I was going to say, oh, what is that? Oh, we got the hot and French pizza. Oh, très bien, très bien. Merci beaucoup. Oh, je suis fatigué. Je m'appelle Wallagraf. Thank you for your order. Would you want some water with it? You know the problem is with this uh, terrific uh, pizza. What do you call it? A little pizzas. Not little pizzas. Oh, no, no, no. Naughty, naughty. Uh, what, uh, what, uh, what is that? Uh, naughty. It's uh, it, uh, for a little dog. Yeah, ooh la la, I do not like that. I think you, you know, you see that uh, piece of shit. I can provide a lot better. Would you want some water? You want some water with a long baguette? You would prefer a baguette over this pizza. It is disastrous. No, 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 this is fucking shit. The fuck is this shit? It's massive. What? Oh, what the... I don't know what that person's tried doing. It looks like there's fucking hair growing off the side of it. Oh my god! There's hair growing on the pizza. What's going on here? I really don't know what's going on with that. That is truly a disaster. I think this has come out of Chernobyl. For sure, that's come out of Chernobyl. That's not normal. That's not human. No way. Rate that pizza down below right now. Oh, we got DPs. DP in the chat. DP in the pics. Fucking dips. And we've got hands as well. We've got the hand models coming back in. Hey, can you rate my finger? Can you rate my hand? No, I'm not going to rate it. Get lost. Oh, we've got a normal photo. We've got some dodgy nighttime picture. I'm going to spy in the dark. Well, that's clever of you. Uh, inside looks normal. Hot and fresh pizza. Okay. Any more? Oh, oh my God. We've still got some pictures to go through. No way. I'd, like, when people take photos of this, like, what is the point of it? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get my phone out. I'm going to put it up against the window. I'm not even going to roll down the window. And I'm just going to angle my phone so it's facing the door. Like, what's that even supposed to be? Is that supposed to be photography? Because it's a just a waste of time. Got the inside. Well, CCTV camera, I think. There you go, it's a ball point one. Looking around, scanning the area. Mm-hmm. Yep, our pizzas are baked in 475 degree ovens to ensure food safety and never touched after baking. What? Ensure, ensure food safety and never touched after baking. So what, you're not supposed to eat the pizzas then? Oh, no! Oh, no! Woo, look at that! That pizza is addressed to CC, Candice Cooley. I told you there was a link with all these fucking fast food chains. Literally, Little Caesars is doing direct service to Candice Cooley. It says CC. What is going on? Little Caesars? Do you know what, man? Little Caesars, I think you better be careful handing that pizza over to Candice Cooley because... If she is supposedly hard to deal with, I can imagine you hand over the pizza and she whacks out your hand and says, Oh my God, look at this pizza. You've handled the evidence wrong. You know, it's raw. You know, you've not cut it properly. You've not 
done a deep forest search in the pizza for any evidence. How dare you do that? You've turned up late. You know, you didn't give us any transparency. No, you did not communicate with us. No transparency. We weren't to know that that pizza was going to come. We didn't have a press conference around that pizza. We didn't get an interview. We're still treated as potential customers are waiting for a pizza. We've not even been cleared yet. So what's going on? You know, Little Caesars is corrupt. I'm going to, I'm going to publicly talk about them on the Facebook page, Candice Cooley. Oh my God. Can't believe it. You know, <laughs> unless CC means cleekly. Oh, cleekly, come and get your pizza, cleekly. I know you're there. Anyway, we have got some breaking new developments all of a sudden. Oh my god. Oh, it just gets better. Hot and ready, crazy combo. Stick those bread things right into that dip. No thank you. Oh, not again. I thought it was a mistake, but it's happened again. Who would have that pizza? It's dry. It's sparse. No. What is going on? What is going on? Sorry, I just had the technical breakdown. That is what it happens when I'm trying to talk in an Italian accent. When I do it Italian, when I see the shit of pizza like this, it really makes me very angry. You know, I'm very passionate about the pizza, and it is but not the good. But you see. That's what um, a triggered Italian sounds like. They start breaking down literally when the pizzas go to shit. And I don't blame them because that is a bad pizza. Not again. Not again. What's going on here? Do you know what? Those pizzas are starting to look more like shurikens. One of the... Oh my god. What's this? This looks just as bad as those bloody deer remains Ty Corbin found and recorded on his YouTube channel. Literally looks like roadkill. Oh my god. Oh my god, look. There's even a hair. Look, there's a hair. There's more hairs on pizzas than the bloody toilets in motels. That is not good. There you go. Shove that pizza in your mouth and shut up and be a good boy. Okay. Piss off. So. I think that concludes that. Don't you think? Wow. Wow. Okay, so that was very interesting and extensive. Once again, bear in mind the topic and discussion of the Dylan Rouse case was primarily focused at the start of this video, as clearly demonstrated, and then later we transitioned on casually to Elko, and at that point it was up to the viewer's decision to internalise it and interpret it, whether it be applied to the Dylan Rouse case or not, okay? So... You know, I think that's about it. Now, the final thing that I will say is the way some humans sound when it comes to addressing the Dylan Rounds case, you know, like when I was saying about the covert narcissism, right? Also, sometimes it's kind of like, you know, these people come in, whether they're addressing misinformation, correcting something, they all seem to come in with either a bitchy tone or a sharp temperament and maybe you know, who knows why, but, you know, if I was to try and visualise it on the spot, and I will, so if I said, okay, so today we're going to be looking at the Dylan Rounds case, and today was the day this individual showed up out of nowhere, and then people may come in and say, no, you got that wrong, you got that wrong, it was actually this, and it's like, okay, calm down, no, 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 you got it wrong, you know, misinformation, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna punish you now, and it's like, to punish me. Do you think that's a good idea? And the visual interpretation would be something like this. You got it wrong, you got it wrong. Okay, well, what do you want me to do? Come here, come here. Why do I want to come here? No, come here. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, miss. I'm so sorry. Miss, please forgive me. I'll do anything. Come on. Be fair, be fair. Yeah, yeah, you know, you might. That's what it's like, you know, next time I'm thinking, what are they going to do? They're going to come at me and fucking choke me, yeah, fucking choke me, fucking choke me. No, that's not going to work. Don't worry, that hand is okay. No hands were harmed in this video. So, 
With that all aside, you can get the picture of how humans can be and how they can act. I think what humans need to remember is when it came to the Kenny Veach case, and despite me looking at it for over five years and then covering it on YouTube for over two years consecutively, when humans did come in, came up with misinformation or made a genuine mistake or didn't know something, I just simply reply back with was, you know, it's because of this or it's because of that. Here's a link. It may help you understand what's actually gone on. Um, we have covered this in the past. If you want to check it out, here's the link. You know, saying it in a basic tone of voice because it's not needed to get all snappy like that. It does not help. Not everyone is a machine. Not everyone's going to know. Not everyone is up to date. That is why I repeat myself at times or go back over stuff because like with the Kenny Veach case, that's what people um, appreciated. And, you know, if those people do follow on, which they may have done, some of them, onto the Dylan Brown's case, keep up, keep up with the same coverage. So then it seems kind of familiar with them. So I think it's um, okay. So that's it for now. Obviously, I think that definitely is it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Share your thoughts, opinions down below in the comment section. And I'll see you next time. For now, good night and goodbye.